Hi there. Remember we always say there is never a dull moment in Indian politics? The Prime Minister again has hit out at Rahul Gandhi, at the Congress party and at Akhilesh Yadav without naming him. He's also spoken to his electorate directly. Now what has he said? What is the significance? He begins by saying that anti-incumbency now is history. He says there is nothing like anti-incumbency. It is pro-incumbency right now because we deliver. He also is trying to create a binary of a double engine Sarkar versus Mafia Vat versus fake Samaj Vat, like he says. He also says this is the battle of Kamdar versus Namdar. He's spoken about this earlier also. He also, I think, is referring to a lot of issues that could become pan-UP issues. Remember the charges that are leveled against the government. Uh, now, there is a question the opposition says, Ki jab bhi elections hota hai, why is it only then that you see agencies like the ED, the CBI getting active? The Prime Minister has responded to this. He says, because we have elections round the year, does this mean that the agencies will not work? He's reached out to the Chote Kisan. And he says that we understand the importance of small farmers. So you clearly understand the importance of that speech. Um, Jats, Kisans, a very, very important belt in Western Uttar Pradesh in particular that's voting tomorrow. He's also calling the Samajwadi Party a Dangai Party. He talks about the law and order situation. He's talking about how women feel safer today in Uttar Pradesh. Uh, he also does, I think... Speak of Yogi Adityanath, he is defending Yogi because he does say that he has many buses, he has done a lot of things for the people. So, Pradhan Mandri has said some things on his own. Now, remember that when there are elections, there are charges versus counter charges. Now, the opposition says, why is the PM speaking right now? Is he sounding worried? Is he sounding desperate or is he confident as the BJP believes? Let's see what happens on the 10th of March.